Two huge doubts in the banks that wouldn't let me sleep. I couldn't find a way out of it. I spent my time in depression and crying. I was really drowning in debt. I was a person who owed almost $200,000. I had a ton of debts for like 20 years. I was feeling down in the dumps. I started to let go, to leave behind the fears, to leave behind the doubts. I managed to free myself from everything from that heavy and painful burden. I felt calm and confident speaking to the Department of Criteria and presenting them with my payment proposal. I've already paid off all the debts and I almost have this house completely bought. I have enough money now because previously I didn't have enough. I had six investments. Imagine getting rid of a $200,000 debt and on top of that, having something to invest now. It's awesome, thanks a lot. It's a total blessing, and I mean like a really big one, like huge. I'm happy because I'm free. Hello, hello, good afternoon to each and every one of you. It is an absolute pleasure to be here with all of you in our class number 13. I am truly grateful for this opportunity. Indeed, in the 13th session of our rigorous biblical finance course, that's the accurate information. Let's commence our class with enthusiasm. Yeah, that is the reason I am asking you to press play. Let's begin. Yeah, yeah. But before I would like to know where you are from and where you currently reside. Yeah. I would like to see where each one of you all is from, you know? Let's see how nice, how good it is that you are here today, fully prepared for a highly enriching learning experience in the light of the Bible's teachings. The topic for today is how to find time to make more money and have your finances under control. Look, here in the intensive course, we already have in-depth discussions on debts, investments, how to start a business, and managing finances for couples. And numerous other subjects that have been and will continue to be addressed in practical sessions during our Christian Week, I Control My Finances, which is scheduled to commence next Thursday, Affirmative. And today I continue bringing you, yes, a transformative content for your financial metanoia and the transformation of your mind as well. I will also discuss in the final classes about some incredibly significant biblical principles that are of utmost importance. Look, I discussed the law of multiplication and the significance of multiplying the seeds that God entrusts in your hands, as well as numerous other important biblical principles during our conversation. By the way, in today's class, which will be in the evening, I will provide you with 12 biblical principles regarding finances that you can begin implementing in your life starting from this moment. It will be like a test of obedience to God in your financial life, and it will be a transformative experience. About that, I do not have any doubt. Look, the examination of the biblical principles of finances, yes, it was sent in the email. Yes, the test was conducted to assess understanding. But listen up and pay attention to the class that we will have later, because the details will be sent to you in the WhatsApp groups that you are a part of. The password for the test, I will provide it to you during our class 14 this evening. Yeah, correct? Right? 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 Definitely. No doubt. Without question. Therefore, please remember that the WhatsApp message is protected with a password, right? What I am going to demonstrate, I reiterate exclusively to individuals who are currently participating in tonight's session. All right? So pay attention to this. And a lot of people say, but doctor, I want to find more income. I want to have my finances under control, but I don't have time. I don't have time to have my finances under control. So in today's class, I decided to talk to you about how to have more time to keep your finances in check and improve all areas of your life, because I know that content is very important for your transformation. If you haven't seen the classes this week yet, they have been the foundation for what we are going to talk about today here, and especially for tonight's content, okay? The classes that took place last week are going to be canceled. Therefore, do not put off attending them because you could miss out on all the content that was covered, okay? There's a whole bunch of new people coming in. There's already over a hundred thousands, yeah, more than thousands of people enrolled in the Bible Finance Intensive, yeah, lots and lots and lots of people. So for those who are new here, don't worry, it's no big deal. I'm going to introduce myself again, okay? 
Look, anyone who is acquainted with my story at this moment knows that I have put in an immense amount of effort to ensure a good life for my family. I'm Dr. Taylor Campos, the financial life mentor of the Christian Rich Ministry. I completed two college degrees simultaneously. Yes, one in the morning and another one in the evening. I pursued a career in law during the day and studied economics in the evening. Indeed, in the past, I also held a position at the bank. In the past, I used to go to the gym regularly. I would play the piano at the church, yes. And I was also simultaneously studying for competitions. Look, and I ended up studying a lot to pass one of the most competitive public exams in my field. However, there are a large number of individuals who inquire of me in a similar manner. But Doc, how did I accomplish all this? How did I manage to do all this within your schedule? See, I acquired excellent time management skills from a very early age, you know? It is crucially important that you possess good time management skills and exercise responsible stewardship of your time as well. I had not taken any course on that, no, but rather relied on my intuition and instinct to guide me. I had precise goals and was highly focused on conquering them with unwavering determination and a clear sense of purpose. And all of this, in addition to the financial slavery I experienced in my life, enabled me to be here today, fulfilling my calling and vibrating with joy, also witnessing the transformation I see in my mentees, both in the free courses and in the private ones with my mentoring students. And I know that's really important because this is my life's calling. Look, and with that experience, serving so many people for the honor and glory of God, thousands of lives have already been transformed. You watch the video with a bunch of people from different countries. There are a whole lot of people, like a whole lot, Spain as well. And through this experience, I started to realize that there are students who achieve better results compared to others in their academic performance. I also observed that individuals who experience greater financial difficulties faced a significant disadvantage. Yeah, mostly regarding everyone's time. And I am going to discuss this at the present moment. Look, these students, these individuals, they lacked knowledge on how to establish and prioritize their tasks effectively. To concentrate on something that was of utmost importance, on something that actually guided them to a specific destination, to a desired state of being and fulfillment. Look, when you have a focus, this actually takes you to a desired state, correct? Where can we find the super committed individuals, yes? Are they present in this location? Contact me in the chat. Hashtag extremely dedicated, extremely dedicated. That is amazing. So look what transpired. I commenced to comprehend that certain individuals possess knowledge of the actions they should undertake, right? They are even aware of the things they need to do in order to be successful and achieve their dreams. However, one crucial aspect they are lacking is wisdom and the essential tools for effective time management and prioritization. Every single person has 24 hours in a day. Both the wealthy and the impoverished have the same amount of time in their day. And let's go then to our Bible. We're here so that you can have a learning experience in this intensive course on biblical finances, finances in light of the Bible, you know. And look, Thursday, the day after tomorrow, we're going to start our Christian week. I'm in control of my finances, right? We will have a total of four super special masterclasses, okay? Take a look now at your Bible in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 17. Team, please enter in the chat now, Tiago 2, 17. It is exactly like that. In the same way, faith, if it does not have works, is dead in itself and has no meaning. So look, the truth is that thousands of individuals experience freezing temperatures due to that. They squander their lives, wasting the most valuable asset that God has entrusted to them, which is time. Isn't it ironic how they fail to realize the significance of this precious resource? Taking good care of your time is also being a responsible steward. You should not just be a good steward of your money, but also of your time without a doubt. But you got to manage everything God gives you, man. Yeah. Yes or yes. Look. 
The duration of our existence is like a window of time bestowed upon us by a higher power. Do you comprehend? Affirmative. I'm going to repeat because it's important that you understand this, okay? Our life's a window of time given by God, you know? And that particular window of time is divided into years, months, days, hours, minutes, seconds, right? Is that the correct understanding? What once passed cannot be brought back, cannot be brought back again. But even if you desire it, no, this is not a possibility to achieve. So I inquire of you, what accomplishments have you achieved with this divine talent that has been bestowed upon you by God? What is the concept of time? What is your life like? What have you done with the gift of time? Have you spent so much time doing things that make you feel happier and more productive? Yes or no? Things that are more aligned with your life mission, with your purpose, yes or no? Or you have merely traded your time for monetary compensation, lacking any sense of purpose? You have wasted your time on things that do not add anything to you. Look, there is a survey that indicates Americans spend a total of 32 days per year or approximately one month of their life in traffic during their daily commute. You know, what a waste of time during the commute and the vast majority of individuals don't even realize the extent and impact of it. We possess the nations where individuals spend the most time on social media doing nothing, sometimes with productive content, yes, but most of the time not, just wasting time without any meaningful activity. And some people say they don't have time, right? They say, ah, I don't have time to pray. They say they don't have time to study to improve their finances, right? They say they don't have time to make more money, right? Most probably, right? It is simply that over a month of sleep is being squandered. If it's not on social media, it's on something else. It's on TV. Like traffic, soap operas, sensationalist news, political discussions on social media platforms, and reality TV shows that are full of drama. However, these are only a few examples of the activities that consume the majority of your time. Just a few examples. Think now. Is there anything that you're wasting your time on that you could be doing something better with your time? I'm looking out for you here so that you can have good stewardship with your time too, to earn more money and have your finances under control. There are many others that I can't talk about here, examples that waste your time. But let's talk about the basic step-by-step -step process to manage your time well, to have a more prosperous life, and to be able to keep your finances under control, okay? Listen up, y'all. This is important. When I talk about a prosperous life, I'm not just talking about financial success, no. I also mean success in all areas of life. Balance, fulfillment, yes. So if you're one of those people who keep saying that they don't make more money because they don't have time, or that they don't have their finances under control because they don't have time, or that they don't do what they should do because they don't have time. Look, now I want to encourage you to eliminate that belief. There is a saboteur in your mindset. Shall we go together now? Are you ready? Yeah. Who wants that? Write it to me in the chat. I want, I want, yeah, I want. Please write it down for me. Yes, and to help you get started on that, because I am aware that you desire this, I have brought the testimony of Roberto, who is one of my students. This testimonial demonstrates that when you are moving in the correct direction, even with limited time, you can accomplish transformative outcomes. Look, let's take a look at Roberto's case now. I'm going to share a little experience with all of you. I had a problem keeping up with the course due to my busy schedule at work. It does not give me much time and does not allow me to follow it properly, which has been a challenge for me to overcome. I was the kind of student who took things at a slower pace compared to others in the class. And here is the thing, however, today we are just about to finish the course and I still have a few actions to take based on the content that is provided in the course. 
I still have to watch the videos, there's still a lot to do. But what I have to tell you is that I started this course and I was in a situation where I had several things wrong. I was doing a lot of things wrong. I had debt in the overdraft, debt on the credit card. So like, according to the course, according to what Dr. Tyler was advising me, I managed to take some actions that today I no longer have the overdraft debt already done. That's right, I've already paid off this overdraft and I've already cut off the overdraft and I don't have anything left on the credit card either. Only these actions allowed me to save approximately $1,500 per month. Roberto's case is awesome. And just like Roberto, there are people from many different places and countries who also achieve changes in their financial lives. Perico, well, today I want to encourage you to make sure you take care of all areas and aspects of your life. Our God desires us to live a complete life because I know you want to have your finances under control, have extra money, and start investing to fulfill God's dreams in your life. Why do you only talk about finances and spirituality? I'm going to answer this question for you. You know why? Because I believe that these two areas, finance and spirituality, are powerful levers that can assist you in improving and enhancing other aspects of life. Yeah, yeah, it's important for you to have this awareness. So you need to start being a better time steward. May God grant you the ability to improve in all areas of your life. Yes or yes? Who wants this? Yes. So they write in the chat, I want. Let's go back to our Bible now. Look at your Bible now, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes says there's a time for everything under the heavens. And I believe there is time to take care of all areas of our life. The Bible says that we should take care of our spiritual life, our family life, our marital life, our professional life, our ministry, and our physical life as well. Why? Our physical body is the sacred dwelling place of the financial spirit. It is not a matter of great importance. It is not considered favorable or beneficial. Look, possessing wealth and lacking good health, it is crucial to possess good health as well. And to take care of all that, the first piece of advice is, now we're going to do an exercise here, an activity. Let's do an exercise so that I can show you how to make time to earn more money and have your finances under control, okay? Let's do an exercise now. I'm going to give you some advice on how to do this. What are you going to do? Number one, understand how each area of your life is. Please assess the quality of your spiritual life on a scale ranging from zero to 10. As an illustration, take a pen and write a note to reflect on your experiences and observations. How are you deepening your intimacy with God today? Are you at zero or 10 in terms of your connection with him? Perform it additionally for the subsequent regions. I'm going to provide you with a few illustrations. Look, spiritual life, financial life, zero or 10, professional life, marital life, health, and so on. These are some areas of your life that you should pay attention to and strive for improvement in. By being aware of the progress and direction of your life, you can effectively set specific goals for each area and make informed decisions about how to proceed on your journey. Yes or yes. And how is it going? Set goals. How can you accomplish this? How? By employing clever strategies. Yes, yes, yes. When it comes to MetaSmart, it is a prime example, showcasing its remarkable power and effectiveness. Utilizing the MetaSmart, you will have the capability to establish a specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound goal. You must have all of these things in your goal in every aspect of your life. At this moment, in the second stage of our Biblical Finance Intensive, I have some important information for you. A significant gift that holds great value. Yes, take a moment to look and appreciate it. I am going during our second stage in the Christian week. I will take control of my finances in order to gift you with a tool that will help you establish and achieve these goals. Yes, indeed. You will have the capability to download a tool, a support material that our smart tool will possess. Okay, is that clear to you? During our Christian week, I assume responsibility for my finances. Let us commence working so that you can implement this exercise. Is that acceptable? However, at this moment, I would like you to commence comprehending that there exist regions within our life that can be utilized as leverage points. 
You must have this very clear in your mind. And look, come with me. If your financial and spiritual life is in a bad state, the other areas of life have to become even worse than they already are. There is no other way around it. I have knowledge about this. Thus, in general, the financial area is commonly a leverage area that will aid in taking advantage of other areas of life and maximizing opportunities for growth and success in various aspects of life. On numerous occasions, even the spiritual realm, yes, indeed, because when you are thriving in your financial circumstances, when you have attained financial tranquility, many other aspects fall into place. Many individuals emerge from depression and they no longer experience conflicts within their family. I consistently receive testimonials from individuals who affirm that after familiarizing themselves with our work, they ultimately cultivated a more profound and fulfilling relationship with God. I was no longer reading the Bible, but now I am reading. Additionally, I am enrolled in a course called Alivio. What is a course that we are required to teach individuals in order to cultivate a closer and more intimate relationship with God? The reality is that individuals get frustrated with God because they believe that God is responsible for their financial situation and the outcomes they experience in life. But God is just waiting for you to obey him in this area so that he can release everything that God has for you. You know what I mean? Yeah? The importance of this? Yes or yes? Where are the super committed people? Write to me in the chat. Yeah? Are you with me here? Look, when you have it very well, if you have established it very well, then you can confidently proceed with the next steps. The objectives, the goals, in a smart way, like I said, it's really important. You have a path to follow. Now, after, what will you do? Step two, now that you have the objectives, the goals in your hands, do the following because I already spoke. Step one, set up notes and have goals. Step two, after you have the objectives, what are you going to do? Outline a strategy to achieve those goals. You must have a goal and a plan in order to attain those goals. Understood? What actions will you take? Write down the tasks, the tasks for each plan you have outlined for each area of your life. For instance, if one of your tasks is to seek more intimacy with God to enhance your spiritual life, for example, as part of that plan, without a doubt, you will need to reserve a specific hour for prayer on a daily basis, for instance. So write on your list to have an hour of prayer with God every day. Another example. Let's say you're a language teacher. Language and one of your goals is to increase income to invest. You want to enhance your financial life, correct? And you can incorporate as an activity in your plan, for instance, engaging in freelance proofreading, for instance, taking on other freelance jobs. Another instance we can have is, I traded coffee for informative reading material in order to stay focused when I was studying. In the past, I had a more effective handle on managing my time. I did not waste valuable time engaging in conversations that were not going to contribute any value to me or my goals. I was engaged in reading informative content. You need to make better choices regarding how you allocate your time and select more wisely what you're going to do. And this is of utmost importance. It is never a lack of time. It is always a lack of priority that hinders us. Yeah? Look, and if one of your objectives, for instance, is to shed pounds for your well-being, you can incorporate on your list visiting the gym each day, three times a week or whatever, after you have enumerated the tasks you need to accomplish. Look, you are going to have objectives concerning specific areas of your life in order to enhance it and make it better. You're going to have better time management. You're going to be a more productive person. So you start entering this data into a very well-known execution tool, yes, that I'm going to tell you about now. This tool you're going to use to figure out when to do each of these things I'm talking about for you now will lead you to a more prosperous life. Who wants to have a closer, more prosperous life, a more prosperous life with your time with God? Please write it to me in the chat. I want it. Yeah, do you want it? Do you want it really? Because I am going to tell you about a very common tool, but one that many people do not use. No, that tool is referred to as Arenda. Team, Please place it in the chat at this moment, schedule. Yes, that is correct. A planner can assist you greatly. And in this case, we are going to refer to it as a productive planner. Productive agenda. If you don't organize your schedule in this way, focused on achieving your goals, 
I have to tell you that you're becoming everyone else's agenda. What do you mean, doctor? Yes, it is improbable that you will be able to achieve a truly prosperous life considering the circumstances and challenges that you may encounter along the way. I am your mentor for today. As your mentor, I have got to tell you this today. Can you confirm, is it a yes or a yes? Yeah, this is very important, the content of our class. The day after tomorrow, Thursday, we'll start our Christian week of I Control My Finances. Our intensive biblical finance program is going off the air because it has a start date and an end date. And today I'm here, but later I won't be here anymore. And I have this content for you, and I know you want to have a prosperous life. But you can't be in control of others and not have control of your own. You got to love your prosperous life. And I ask you, do you want to continue being in control of others? Yes or no? One crucial aspect, an individual who achieves significant accomplishments has their schedule well outlined in accordance with their established priorities and personal goals. Sufficient of being the agenda of others, and there is a highly detailed approach or technique available for achieving that, which I also provide as a bonus to my students, to my mentees. However, I would like you to begin performing this exercise here and implement what I am teaching you in your life already. The fact is that effectively managing your time has a direct impact on enhancing your financial situation. Let's now listen to what my mentee Jacqueline has said. The course for me was truly remarkable. And the bonus course that this course provides, specifically the Productive Agenda course, was absolutely astonishing. I was truly amazed by the content. Because a lot of times we say that we don't have time for things, right? And I learned that it's not a matter of time, it's a matter of priority. So the bonus course, Productive Agenda, is also incredible. So I highly recommend the course, I Control My Finances, okay? May God bless everyone. Thank you, girl, for your recommendation and support. Incredible, yes. But you can provide us with information, doctor, regarding why you are talking about time management and demonstrating these testimonials from your students. What is the reason? Look, because I realize that individuals who desire to enhance their financial situation require, yes, to adhere to this principle of stewardship with their time. And also so that you never again state that you do not have time for what is important in your life. Time is a priority. Step three. Now, what are you going to do? I already discussed the initial step, the second one, and now the third one on how to create time. Three, turns wasted time into money. Who desires to transform wasted time into money and capitalize on this opportunity? Write in the chat I want. Write it to me in the chat I want it. Do you want to? Yeah, ah, how delicious. Yeah, go ahead and start saying that. It's the content of our class today. Look, having time is incredibly important. Having the time to have your finances under control and dedicate yourself to your financial life is a matter of choice and priority. What you do with your time indicates what is a priority for you. Is it a priority for you to spend hours on social media without having a clear purpose for it? No, I do not think so. If you have a purpose, that's awesome. If you are studying, that's great. But if you are not, it's not good. Couldn't you be doing something more productive, such as studying, that would help you reach your goals? Yes, so with enthusiasm, you know. If you think everything is fine, just stay as it is. If you aren't keeping up with other people's agenda, it's not a big deal. But if you aren't doing well, if you want to make more money, change it now. Make the change now, yeah. Prioritize what is important to you and identify what you can modify for the better in other aspects of your life such as your family and your social relationships. If you have all of your daily tasks, then go ahead and do them, but also make sure to prioritize your tasks accordingly. What are the tasks that you really have to do? And what are the priorities in your life? You need to have better time management. Utilize the time you waste by squandering it in a more advantageous manner and commence generating income. Yes or yes, does it make sense to you? I wrote in the chat, yes, yes, yes. Look, 
In the mentoring sessions that I have already conducted as a mentee, I once realized that poor time management is something that prevents people from being more successful. Yes, and the couple, a couple that I spoke with, yes, Mariana and Gustavo, they mentioned that it was of utmost importance to them to learn about enhancing time management skills while increasing their income through productivity. And do you by any chance happen to be included in the survey that indicates that Americans waste their day on social media or in traffic, thus wasting their valuable time? Do you answer with yes or no? And does wasting time also lead to you going into debt? Did you know? Yes or yes. Therefore, make the most of that opportunity when you're waiting in line and listen to a great podcast. Listen to a class that you haven't had the chance to hear before from the intensive course. Yes, make the most out of your time. Take advantage of the documentary if you're waiting in line for something. Seize the chance to read a book, for instance. Envision if you utilize those hours or even more that I mentioned earlier and began engaging in an activity you find pleasure in and that could potentially generate extra earnings. Look, enroll in an online course. What would it be like? You have the time, yes, but you should not squander it. So here's the quick tip I have for you. Utilize your valuable time in order to earn more money. You got to keep this in mind, not out of simple greed, it's not that, but out of better stewardship of the precious time that God has given you. You are a butler of that as well. It's something that God has gifted you. Do you want to earn some extra cash using that time you waste? Go there now and sign up on those sites that offer freelance work like El Orcana and so many others. Do you do freelance work? Are you going to have a lot of stuff to do? Did you know that you can make money by offering freelance services on various websites from your own home? And he plans to use his time in the most productive way possible. Look, billionaires have the same 24 hours as you. Yes. However, they utilize them in the same manner as you, I am not aware. They possess the knowledge of how to conduct the elections. What are they planning to do? What actions are the rest of them planning to take? Tom Corley, a highly renowned writer, in his book, The Rich Habit, which I believe is exclusively accessible in the English language, states that it resembles the journal documenting the prosperous habits of affluent individuals. This is the name of the book, but I don't know if it's available in Spanish. I know it's available in English. He spent five years observing over 350 rich folks, wealthy people and poor people, how they live how they work and sleep, and he came to the conclusion that their daily habits, their routine, was what defined the reason for their wealth or poverty. Explore the profound significance and impact of daily habits, routines, and schedules on our lives and well-being. And one of the things he discovered was that the wealthy do not waste time, they do not waste their time, as time is a valuable resource for them. Upon arriving at the office, the affluent individuals are already well informed about their responsibilities and generally they follow at least 70% of the tasks that were planned for that specific day. Is that an accurate observation? And do not forget to also have, you must also have a well-rounded and balanced life. It is important because this is a truly prosperous and fulfilling life experience. Being healthy implies having additional time to generate income. Being healthy implies having additional time for your family members. It signifies having additional time to engage in the activities that bring you pleasure. Having more quality time with the people you love. I am going to do it now. We are getting to the end of our class. Some essential questions for you. Look, next Thursday, we're going to start our Christian week. I'm in control of my finances, right? Four more keys. Next Thursday, we're going to have schedule changes. Pay attention to WhatsApp group, okay? You're going to miss me here, so you should have priority. One question for you. Do you control your time or do I control you? Do you have your own income or are you dependent on others' income? Look, consider this. Like Steve Jobs from Apple mentioned, your time is restricted. 
Do not waste your time trying to live someone else's life. Do not let the opinions of others fall into the depths of your inner forest. Check out the importance of your time before the sentence of today's class. Keep in mind something very special for you. Another golden tip here for you. A very important advice here. Establish routines that guide you towards the life you desire to possess. This is of utmost importance. Until when are you going to live without financial peace? Until when are you going to live without having your finances under control? For how long are you going to live in depression? Until when are you going to live without financial freedom? If you want to live a healthier life, you got to include some physical activity in your routine, even if it's just going for a walk outside or doing something at home. If you want to get closer to God, improve your spiritual life, do you need to have a prayer time with him every day? Yeah, it's a big deal. If you want to have a more prosperous financial life, do you need to dedicate time to your routine to study finances? We are the reflection of our routines. Pay attention to this. People, when they see news that a guy sold a company for $200 million, for example, think for sure he became rich all of a sudden, but no. But in reality, it was the process, it was the routine that made him generate this wealth. The individuals who construct large objects. Recall the expression from one of the prior lessons that I previously informed you about. Monetary tranquility arises from the procedure. I mean about the routine and not the final destination. A lot of people want to have financial freedom. They want to have their finances under control like I do. They want to have extra money. I make money left over every month. I make investments every month, but I follow a process. I have a firm handle on my time. And you? Do you have a firm handle on your time? Do you know how to confidently say no to things that are not a priority in your life? Is it yes or no? Yes, no, no. So please pay attention to this. And now here comes the phrase of today's class. Make sure to write it down. Yeah, write it down. A very important phrase, very rich in this class. Yes, beautiful. Yes. Look, it's a big deal. Yeah. However, we must be motivated about this because it is important. It is never a lack of time. It is a lack of priority. I always contemplate this. When I am about to make a decision whether I will proceed with this or not, I refrain from explicitly stating that I lack the necessary time to do so. I always communicate it is not my main focus at the moment, but if it becomes my main focus, I do not hesitate, I will take action. So, if it's a prayer answer from God, I'm going to be, always. Look now at the construction of your life, the case of Miss Lane, who modified her routine, started waking up early, devoted more time to God, spent time with family, quality time with her children, made investments in her side businesses, and focused on personal growth. She's a civil servant in the city where she lives. Check out Miss Lane's testimony. My name is Miss Lani. I'm a civil servant. I met Dora Thela through Instagram. I enrolled in the course with a lot of debt, including credit card debt, overdraft fees, and loans with consigned guarantors. However, I have managed to pay off three of my debts, for which I am grateful to God and the generous assistance of the rich Christian. I am already investing, so I am already transitioning from being in debt to being an investor through the teachings. My sales have grown significantly since I joined as I strive to be a steward of God and learn the principle of Christian stewardship. Additionally, I have also opened a new business after joining, which is another accomplishment that is already contributing significantly to my income with an additional source of revenue. And about Christian stewardship through the videos of Rodrigo from the Productive Agenda, I realized that I wasn't being spoiled by God with my time. Hey, so through that and other stuff too, I decided to make a change. I started waking up early so I could have more time to do the things that God really wants me to do, to have additional time with God, to have additional time with my family, quality time with my kids, and also to invest in my businesses. And I'd like to express my gratitude to the team, Dr. Tyler, because they have truly had a significant impact on my life through this course. Incredible, right? If you don't include in your routine doing things to dedicate yourself to learning about finances, you'll never learn. Why? 
It is part of your everyday life. So I would like to challenge you to go through your schedule at this moment and already make a reservation for at least 20 minutes per day to study finances, correct? But doctor, my case is really critical and I don't know what I'm doing. Look, in this case, do it twice. If your case is critical, you should have greater priority. The more time you invest in this, the faster your result will be. Pay attention to this important matter. Obviously, you must ensure that you possess the correct address, but you can rest assured that you have it here because there is no more accurate and reliable address than the Word of God. And the Bible is our life manual. The Bible works for me. The Bible works for you. The Bible works in your country. So you better make sure you have the address of the Bible, of what's in the Bible, to benefit from its guidance and teachings. When speaking in the Word of God, it is always good to remember for you. Take a look at your Bible now, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. Team, put in the chat Ecclesiastes 3, 1, which goes like this. I truly appreciate this verse. Each and everything in life has its own appointed and predetermined time. And there is time available for every purpose under the sun. So commence doing things promptly. Do not delay or procrastinate them for a later time or date. A lot of people look at that verse and think they need to just sit around waiting for God to take action. No, but when it comes to finances, what will change your life is having a specific time slot in your schedule for this purpose so that it becomes your dedicated time, your action. Please remember that the theme of tonight's class is you will discover whether or not you obey God in your finances. And many individuals inquire of me, Doctor, how can I determine if I am following God's commands in my life or not? The class tonight is exceptionally special because it will specifically address this incredibly common question that many people have. I'm going to talk to you about at least 12 basic finance principles in just one class. Tomorrow, we are going to have a discussion in the intensive program and also in some of the classes. Let's talk about the secrets of banks in our intensive as well. During Christian week, I take control of my finances, you know, I believe, yes. Please pay attention to this, as we are going to have another class providing insights into the secrets of banks. And on Thursday, the day after tomorrow, you'll have the release of the first recorded class of the second stage of our Biblical Finance Intensive, which is the Christian week I control my finances. I want to remember it. Join the WhatsApp group. It's important so you don't miss anything from our intensive biblical finance course that has a start day and an end day. The link is down here below this video. Oh, and go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Share it too. During this class, I am changing your mindset and at the Christian Week event, Hands on Work, we are going to get down to business, yes, with exercises and by utilizing the Facebook community. Now I'm repeating the phrase from today's class, it's never a lack of time, it's a lack of priority. And the keyword for your participation certificate, which is offered free of charge, today is priority. So join the WhatsApp group because by the conclusion of our intensive program, you will also receive the free participation certificate. And we'll have more things in our intensive biblical finance course. Don't lose anything, okay? Now give this video a like once more and return to the class scheduled for tonight by inviting another person. Yes or yes, where are the extremely committed ones? Yes, are we going back? Yeah. Therefore, do not forget that the key word is priority. It is crucial to make changing your financial life a priority in your life starting from today. And furthermore, it is important to prioritize obedience to God and having peace in your life today. Amen. Looking forward to seeing you soon and may God bless you. Goodbye. Because after the rich Christian, I start to see life in a different way. My financial problems were fading away. A mortgage on my house, which I would take another eight years to pay off. I tell you that today I own a paid off house. There are several other debts that were troubling me and having the ability to do something that had not occurred in years in my life. Having extra money, having extra money of mine, my money never used to be extra. So managing to have some extra to invest as advised by the rich Christian in the portfolio we are following. Following the completion of the course, I successfully managed to have some money left over from my salary, 
which was an achievement I hadn't been able to accomplish for a number of years. I managed to pay off the debts, a debt of 23,958, if I'm not mistaken at the time. In a span of 60 days, I managed to completely pay off this debt. This to me was an invaluable accomplishment that I can't put a price on. In addition to that debt, later on I also paid off another debt, so for me this was crucial. So at this point in time, now that I have a certain amount of money left over from my salary, I started making an investment as well. I began investing some money and I did not have a car. I used to walk. I have a car now. It is not a fancy one, but I have a car in my garage now. This, in my opinion, is absolutely priceless. Wow, what an overwhelming feeling. I am filled with immense happiness and gratitude. I state that the wealthy Christian was positioned in my existence at a critical juncture. It was of utmost importance. So the rich Christian was truly remarkable. It compelled me to completely empty myself and wholeheartedly believe that those incredible people were there to provide unwavering support, invaluable mentorship, and invaluable guidance on how to truly eliminate debts, achieve a well-balanced financial life, make wise investments, generate additional income, unearth hidden talents, and gain clarity on my desired path in life. I've already organized myself. I no longer have to borrow from loan sharks. I no longer have the private shops and businesses I had before because it was getting difficult. Everything is under control. My financial life is completely under control. I don't have that worry. One of the things I constantly had was power cuts. I couldn't handle it. Today I don't have, sometimes I see a cutting car passing by and I breathe like this, then I don't have. I am calm, everything is up to date. The year 2020 was the first year that ended, that I ended with 1,500 reis. I can say, thanks to the rich Christian, I'm at peace. I can have a much calmer financial life. Financially, I'm not a slave to finances. The debts already existed, car financing, still paying for it. So there were quite a few things there, open debts, paying for land in installments, right? So that bar where we stayed, wow, and now what are we going to do, right? And that's when I started studying. I started the course slowly and began to see the transformations, many transformations. Reduction in bills, surprisingly, I learned to do extra activities that we didn't even pay attention to before because we were in our comfort zone. So I acquired new skills and knowledge. I established an online store through the course where they educate us on the importance of continuous self-improvement, undergoing a shift in mindset, thoughts and attitudes, and constantly striving to better ourselves. And that helped a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So. With each step I took within the course, I saw the changes. And in the end, it was success, total success, both material and spiritual. It was wonderful. I had some loans which were insured. And there we learned how to reduce these loans, how to pay, how to pay off these loans. And we kept practicing this, exercising control. For us, it wasn't enough to do things halfway. It only served us to do it right, to do it completely. Today, I am able to sleep in peace. The complete transformation in our lives has been absolutely incredible and utterly profound. I initiated the story by discussing the debts I had, and presently, we are actively engaged in the process of making investments. My dear friend and partner in this venture, we are investors. At this moment, we were able to contribute and provide assistance to individuals in need, which is also a very impressive principle that makes a difference in people's lives. Today I feel at peace, today I sleep peacefully, we still face our life's challenges, it doesn't stop, but today I can plan, organize myself to achieve, reaching new things every day.